What's up, guys? This is KP with uh, Bama Sports. I just got through watch, listening to Paul Feinbaum and uh, the Barry Show. These people are crazy. You know what? It's time for me to go put my application in with ESPN. Look, I've been watching college football for probably 20 years, and I, I watch all. You know, I'm an Alabama fan, of course, first and foremost. I watch every Alabama game. Been watching it. I've watched it. I mean, I've watched Alabama when they sucked, you know what I mean? When, uh, you know, we had, uh, you know, before Nick Saban came there, uh, can't even think of the guys on That's how bad he sucks. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, it's sitting there saying, well, you know, Paul Feinbaum was just sitting there saying, uh, you know, I kind of thought Saturday night if, um, if uh, Texas A&M beats Arkansas, then you know they have pretty good, sh you know, have a pretty good chance to win the West. And that is a bunch of crap. <laughs> you hear me? A bunch of crap. I'm, I'm uh, hang on. Just give me a second, folks. I got to order some food real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna get a, a Whopper for Paul Feinbaum. I mean, it is. Welcome to Burger King. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I just want to get the uh, Whopper combo. You want to add cheese or bacon to that Whopper today? Uh, yeah, you can add both. All right. And what's that drink? Uh, chocolate milkshake. I'm sorry? A chocolate milkshake. Okay. What else for you? That'll be it. All right. It's going to be 1340. I'll see you up here. All right. Thank you. Anywho, anywho uh, so... If you look at look at what just happened, uh, not this weekend when we played Mississippi State, but last weekend when we played Ole Miss. Ole Miss scored 10 points on us. It was, I think Alabama had 24, Ole Miss 10. You know why they scored 10 points? It's because Alabama has a defense, a good defense. We're flying around. We got good uh, uh, linebackers. You know what I mean? They can't throw the ball. They can't hardly run the ball. I mean, we're looking at a tied defense that is reminiscent of you know 2009 10 11 12. uh this past saturday night we ran 44 plays on the ground over 200 yards rushing and then we have a triple uh triple threat quarterback which i think he's really uh coming around more and more every week now now that he knows he's the man he ain't got nothing to worry about i mean yeah he broke and run picked up 40 50 yards like he's a, he's to me he kind of reminds me a little bit of cam newton and um uh, you know guys like that and uh he's got a good deep ball he, he can hit rpos i mean i think uh just this weekend they didn't throw it a whole lot but still his average he was over over 90 percent on his average but if you look at it um so lsu had already has already played uh, arkansas this year they only beat the uh, arkansas razorbacks by three points okay three points one field they beat them by a field goal right and then you take Alabama versus Ole Miss. Ole Miss only scores 10 points on Alabama. You know, we all saw that game, and uh, we beat them. So, um, and then just this past weekend, while Alabama was playing Mississippi State, um, uh, LSU went to the Grove and played Ole Miss. Ole Miss was able to put up 55 points on LSU. So, you know what that tells me? LSU does not have a defense worth a crap because if you can put if you can put them kind of points on somebody they don't they don't have much of a defense and oh oh miss one so look at it so this is kind of how i'm looking at it lsu beats arkansas by only three points we beat Ole miss alabama beat Ole miss and then Ole miss turned around and beat lsu so you know like i said <laughs> And Texas A&M just played Arkansas this past weekend, also, and they they only beat them by uh, it was I like you know, I don't remember exactly what the score was, but it wasn't by a whole lot. So, I mean, that's not what is that saying? What is that telling you? I mean, uh, like I said, uh, so let's look at it like yes, yeah, so Texas A&M beat Arkansas. Paul Feinbaum's trying to say, well, if they beat. Uh, Arkansas, you know, there's a good chance they're going to beat Alabama. But what, what makes you think that? How do you figure that? 
You know what I'm saying? Because like I, like I just said, uh, Texas A&M didn't beat Arkansas by a whole lot. Uh, LSU barely beat Arkansas. Ole Miss just beat LSU. I mean, and then we beat Ole Miss. So, this coming up weekend, I think Ole Miss is going to play Arkansas. I guarantee uh, Ole Miss is going to beat Arkansas. And I can guarantee you right now, Alabama is going to take it. When we go to College Station, we're going to we're going to put the ground pound on them. They're not going to be able to throw the ball hardly because we got some good running backs that that, that can match up on uh, any wide, just about any wide receiver in the country right now. And we got uh, two, if not three, good running backs. We got a good quarterback. I mean. So we got a recipe for success. Alabama's going to run. We're going to run the ball. We're going to grind it out. We're going to chew up clock like uh, like you ain't never seen. And uh, we're not going to let uh, Texas score that much. If you can't score, you can't win the game. And we got we got we got a, a quarterback can throw RPOs. He can throw a deep ball. We got running backs. And then we got Jalen Miro. He's he's like the probably the second, third fastest uh, guy on the roster. Period. So that's what you got to worry about, you know. And not only that, but from what I saw this weekend, he he's checking down his reads. He's getting more comfortable. He's getting better every week. Uh, you know, he, he's not. Uh, he didn't throw any interceptions this past weekend, so that's a good thing. Uh, but that's because he he's looking. He's checking down his reads. Okay, you know they're covered. And he's going to run. You know what I mean? If you try to get after him, he's going to run. So it doesn't matter either way. But the way I see it, we're going to – I'll say we're going to beat uh, Ole Miss probably, I'd say, by at minimum 10 points. It'll be a 10-point spread. Uh, I don't know what the final score will be, but Alabama will be at least 10 points ahead of them, whatever it is. Uh, I can guarantee you that, no doubt, all day long. Alabama is the number one right now in the SEC West. I can tell you right now, they are headed to Atlanta. And you know who we'll, we will we will be playing Georgia because they have a cupcake schedule. I mean, we all know that. I don't see how the two-time defending champion has a schedule that easy. You would think they'd give them something uh, a little tougher to play, but um, whatever, you know. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for now, but I will get back with y'all.